a fever coster, it's my job to show you my city. So when you arrive at my doorstep during the 2010 FIFA World Cup, you will be prepared. No shocks, no surprises, just pure bliss. Forget postcards and pretty pictures, I am heading off to photograph my top five Johannesburg landmarks. When you drive through Johannesburg for the first time, these are the landmarks that will catch your eye. This is Hillbrow Tower, one of the most important telecommunication towers in the whole of Africa. And you know what's cool? They just put a soccer ball around it. <laughs> the Hillbrow Tower really is the most iconic landmark of the Johannesburg skyline. At 269 meters high, it is the hub of African telecommunications. Imagine base jumping off that bad boy. <laughs> this landmark behind me is called the Top Star Drive-In. It's built on top of a dump. A mine dump, that is. <laughs> Check it out. Speaking of mind dumps, I'm on top of one right now. This is a top star drive-in outdoor cinema. Well, it's actually been abandoned and they're gonna turn that screen into a billboard. What a shame. The top star drive-in has been responsible for more romantic dates and marriages than Cupid. It's been a Johannesburg institution since 1958. Rest in peace, old friend. The Carlton Center, the tallest building in Africa. It's at least 20 stories above the rest. And it's right here in Johannesburg. The Carlton Center towers 223 meters above the ground. Built in 1973, it was an engineering marvel, beating the Sears Tower of Chicago in height. Behind me is a mine dump one of the most noticeable landmarks in Johannesburg. And they remind us that this place was built on gold. Johannesburg was built for one reason, and one reason only, gold. Below Johannesburg lies the world's biggest reef of gold. So as a product of building tunnels underground, mine dumps have been stacked above the ground. Now this next landmark is massive. It's the Oakland Park Tower. This is also used for broadcast purposes. It sends a signal all around the world. This is how you'll be getting the World Cup. This 237 meter high broadcast tower can withstand wind speeds of over 180 kilometers an hour. Without this baby, we'd have no TV signal in SA. Each of the other FIFA cars are doing the same thing in their cities, photographing their top five landmarks. So you can click on their post and see their city through their eyes. From Mimfundo in Josie, I can't wait till you come here. I'm out.